Here's Ethan Morgan now. Trying to work his magic. Ethan Morgan does super well. Ethan Morgan! Get in there, my son. There you go. He got a rare... Got a collector's piece there. Ethan Morgan makes it 1-1. One, one. Hey, what's happening everyone? Journeyman here and welcome back to the Shrimps. Today is episode number 9 and we take on Crew Alexandra and uh, Crew Alexandra, I think Wickham are next. They're like two days later on January 1st and then we take on Stoke City of the Championship in the Emirates FA Cup third round. So, it's uh, going to be a difficult episode. Obviously, three games in the space of a single week is not great for a team with as few options as we have right now. Um, in the last episode, obviously, we talked briefly about uh, me catching up with uh, lost episodes for audio issues. And uh, one win and one draw, Coney Caesar sit in fifth place in the table. Um, by the way, in the last episodes, uh, lost episodes, I'd call them the lost episodes. Um, I used to do a player focus, so I'm going to go back to the player focus here and we're going to go through uh, the improvements and stuff of uh, players. So I used to pick a random player, so we'll do Benjamin Yesen, uh, the uh, Danish left back, and also play right back as well. Uh, we'll take a look at his attribute growth. As you can see on the season, he is now plus seven on the season and growing very, very nicely. He's got a high defensive work rate uh, with a medium attacking work rate, which means he does like to get forward and he has created a few opportunities. He's not to mention one of our best players in the air, surprisingly. As I see, his physical 70, uh, pace is 68, uh, which is solid for a guy of his height of 6 foot 1. Um, look at some of the attributes, interceptions plus 6, jump in is plus 175, which is actually pretty nice for a left back to have someone as decent in the air as him. Spin speed plus 2, uh, and as you can see, his technical abilities have grown unbelievably. Marking is plus 20 on the campaign, slide tackling plus 12, stand tackle plus 9. Uh, crossing plus seven. So overall, this guy is turning into a really nice and very, very solid left back. All right, so here we go on today's game up against Crew Alexandra. There'll be a couple of slight changes to the team. Obviously, the uh, December fixture run has uh, kind of had some issues, I would say. If you take a look, some of the guys are very, very, very tired. Um, so there will be some uh, changes here. Uh, I'm going to bring in uh, Velaba for a very, very rare appearance place into the field. Again, we need everyone in the squad to really... Uh, put a shift in here every now and then. Um, Davis at right back, that's an issue. Um, so we're going to put Harris in there. Uh, I can't really put Harris in there because I could have uh, Reese and... Uh, yeah, this is a problem. Um, hmm, who should play right back? We'll do... Thor Larson cause, because why not? Uh, at left midfield, we'll do... Left back, I should say. I guess we'll leave Jessen in there. We'll give him more of a break in the next one. But, uh, oh yeah, because Jessen can play right back. There you go. Jessen can play right back. Larson can play left back. Kind of-ish. He's done it in the past. He'll, he'll do it again. Um, then we have Rose up top. Rose in midfield. Chevalier, Bashir. Okay, that's we're going to have to go with that. Obviously... Needs must. Uh, needs must today, unfortunately. But, uh, all right. So, we'll take on here. Crew Alexandra, the best home record in the league. And we'll look to continue up against Crew. All right. Foggy day here in Morecambe. And uh, we take on Crew Alexandra. You have to see the uh, snow animation, by the way, this year in FIFA. It's just been foggy, which is kind of bizarre. Um, anyway, here's Marcus Rose. Looking at the fall to Basir. Basir's going to get there. He's going to this ball looking for Harvey Rose. And uh, we'll clear in the end from the uh, opposition center half. All right, here's Harvey Rose now looking to make a uh, darting run forward. And, oh, great challenge in the end. Michaels picks up the pieces, finds Marcus Rose. The edge here. Marcus Rose, get in there, my son. Fantastic finish there for Marcus Rose. And the uh, goal score midfield uh, does it again here with a great first time finish at the edge of the area. It was rolled back, one back from Michaels there, picking up the pieces. First time just inside the box, whipped it past the goalkeeper. And uh, it's 1 0 to the Shrimps. Well worked. Here's Velabin now. He's got Bashir. He can find him. He does well. Here's Abraham El Bashir. He's going to dart towards the box. He's got Harvey Rose square. Oh, what a ball. That. How did you miss? How did he miss that? Bashir laid it on a play for him. And Harvey Rose decides to be charitable today and miss from, what, two yards? It's probably going to miss the season, I'm sure. But uh, 
My word, Harvey Rose, what the hell was that? Here's Marcus Rose now looking to get forward again. He's got Michaels looking for him. Can he get there for the keeper? No, he can't. Still puts the effort in, though. So fair play to Michaels there. I'll tell you what, for the effort he's put in this season, Michaels does deserve a goal eventually. Uh, here's Griffiths now for uh, Crew Alexandra. Puts the ball in. That's a great chance to make it 1 1. And Crew Alexandra have equalized here through Miller. Not great defending there. Yesen was pulled out of position. Ball went in the box. And uh, inch perfect header, to be fair. Anything closer, and Carson might have got a hand to it and uh, just tips it off the inside of the post. So disappointing here to find ourselves at 1 1. We've had most of the most of the possession. Not really any chances so far for Crew. And yeah. And uh, hopefully that miss from Harvey Rose doesn't come back to haunt us in the end of the game. I hear Chevalier now. First touch of the game for him. He's been pretty much anonymous. Here's a chance for him running at the opposition defense. He beats one man, beats two. Chevalier with the effort, flicked off a defender and easily claimed by the goalkeeper there. But uh, hopefully Chevalier will get a bit more into the game now. Uh, chance now for Crew to get a goal here before the end of the half. Yesen gets there. Beautifully timed challenge there from Ben Yesen. And uh, our oh, chance is not done yet, though, and uh, we can't get the ball clear uh, off the hook there. All right, so just before halftime here, looks like we're going to the break here. 1-1, one, one, unless something unexpected happens, and it's unlikely to. So there it is, 1-1 one, one here at halftime. And so far, it's been a very disappointing display. Uh, I have plenty of chances, and obviously the Harvey Rose miss. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm never going to believe you missed that. Um, but anyway, we'll go into the second half here. I'm going to make a change. Michaels, uh, I'm going to bring you off here for Castro, I guess. And then Valaba can sit there. Yeah, we'll put Castro in terms of push forward. So him and Rose should be able to create opportunities for Harvey Rose, Bashir, and Chevalier, who honestly haven't really had much surface, um, service yet. Well worked here. Crew Alexandra start the second half. That's a great ball, but lucky enough for Larson there. Just got a foot in and made the clearance. The uh, makeshift left back did uh, quite well there. And we'll put in the box. And Harris once again wins it well. Obviously, Harris has been relegated. It's kind of a reserve role since uh, Reese and Fernandez joined the uh, first team. Uh, so it's good to see him back in the side and doing well. He has he is growing a little bit, by the way. I think he's now a uh, 45 or 46 overall. When he came to the club, he was like a 40 or something. Um, so it's good to see him grow and get a bit better. Carlson makes the punch, get that Chevalier. Okay, so here's a good chance for us to hit maybe on the break. Chevalier, he's got Rose looking for the run. He timed it perfectly this time. Harvey Rose, does he have the legs? He's starting to tire. But that's a good one from Castro. Castro's now in the box. Leonardo Castro off the post. Oh, he did everything right. Took it onto a stronger foot, played it across the keeper. Keeper had absolutely nowhere near that. And uh, Leonardo Castro was very unfortunate not to make it 2-1. Chance for crew on the break here though. His nickels now puts the ball in the box. Carson's there though, could claim from the uh, goalkeeper. Ah, it's something to change the top. Obviously, Harvey Rose. Um, yeah, he's just starting to, to struggle, starting to tie a little bit. So Ethan Morgan can come on for him. Ball's whipped in. Oh, overhead kick. And oh, we almost make a mess of that one. Carson dived into, I'm not quite sure otherwise. I think it was Coop. And uh, goes behind for another corner kick. But he almost went an absolute mess of that. Ethan Morgan wins that in the air. There's Castro, gives the ball away at the edge of the area. Not a good place to lose it there, Leonardo. So here's uh, Jones for crew. Well tackled there from Chevalier, doing defensive duties well. Here's Rose now, Chevalier, maybe a chance to counter-attack. Ethan Morgan's made the run. Now he's surprisingly fast, he gets there. He's got runner Castro, what a ball that is. Now he's got Bashir, spare, square, he's gonna fight. Oh, pushed him too wide, and Bashir hits the post. There's Chevalier, get in there, 2-1. Oh, we almost fucked that one up royally, but uh, we made it 2-1 here. Chevalier, lucky enough, the ball bounced straight to him, and he couldn't miss from two or three yards out. Leonardo Castro should have taken the shot on, really. He pushed uh, Elbashir too wide. Elbashir did well to get the ball on target and hit the crossbar. And um, Chevalier there from a very, very acute angle finds the back of the net. So it's 2-1 with uh, 12 minutes left to go. Is Villaba now rushing forward for midfield. This is a very unusual situation to see him push forward. But here's Chevalier now. He's going to cut to his right foot. Not really strong. You wouldn't be able to tell from that finish. Get in there. Adrian Chevalier makes it 3-1. Game, set, match. The Shrimps. Uh, Castro finds El Basir here. He's got Morgan streaking in the box. There's Chevalier though. Forward maybe his hat trick. Oh, poor header there from Chevalier. Good chance for him to get his hat trick. Still waiting for the first Shrimp player, by the way, to get a hat trick. 
And um, I'd say it was half a chance. I wouldn't say it was a glorious chance, but definitely half a one. But anyway, it looks like it's going to finish here 3-1. Uh, Comfortable in the end, despite a few uh, hairy moments in the middle of the game. But uh, delighted to come away with three points here, especially with the players being as tired as they are. All right, so now West for the Wicked here. Uh, two days later, we take on Wickham away from home as well. So I'm going to make a bold move here. Now, I said in the last episode, I wasn't going to uh, bring up Alex Kansai Sal, but kind of needs must. I need to get him in the first team today uh, just because of the lack of fitness and options I have. So Alex Kansai Sal will make his debut today. The 16-year-old goes straight into the first team, 60 overall. He actually automatically becomes our best defender, uh, surprisingly. Uh, our left back today, um, it was four loss in the last game, uh, but yes, and struggling. So Dom Davis is going to play left back today. He can do a job there. So uh, Davis goes to left back. Kansai Sal um, goes to right back. So in the middle, Fernandez is going to get a break today for Harris. Harris played ahead of Reese last time around. So Harris and Reese will partner each other today uh midfield coop and michaels are still going pretty strong in there obviously by the way if we play today whoever plays today they're going to struggle to make the uh, stoke game so i've got to be careful on uh, who i select here um we're going to go o'donnell's in there alongside coop rose we're going to start morgan today despite him being unfit mamiri will also get to play as will bashandi so largely speaking it's a um it's certainly a weakened team uh, physically and obviously overall as well. Um, but it kind of needs must. I'd, I'd like to take on Stoke on my full strength team if possible. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to have to take the players out and do the best we can. But anyway, we take on Wickham. How Wickham are doing? How are they doing in the table? Uh, 13th in the table. So uh, mid table team, nine wins, eight draws, eight defeats, conceded 28 goals, 31. So it should be a very tight game. Um, but obviously, if we can get away with this game without losing, then I'm going to be pretty happy. All right, here we are, taking on the choir boys away from home. And um, yeah, again, get a draw with this reserve team. I'm going to be ecstatic. It's Bashandi looking for one and Morgan now. Morgan is fine. Morgan now through on goal. Ethan Morgan, chance to get a second goal. Nope. Defender gets back on him. Gets the ball back though. Ethan Morgan on the turn. It's maybe going to bounce. Nope. I thought it was going to bounce. O'Donnell. It did not. Glorious opportunity there for Ethan Morgan. Uh, fortunately, he left the shot a little bit too late. And uh, defender got back on him. Here's O'Donnell. What a turn that is from O'Donnell. O'Donnell taking a shot on the edge of the area. Weak effort in the end. Try to curl it into that far post. But uh, no power behind the shot. Ball goes in. Well cleared there from Reese. Good work there from the Brazilian centre half. Ball goes in there. Oh, header at the back post. Dom Davis is beaten at the far post. And it's 1-0 to Wickham. Disappointing really. Dom Davis is one of the strongest players we have in the air. And uh, disappointing to see the uh, Wickham player rise above him. Looks like Davis didn't really put much of an effort at all. Just never got off the ground. Yeah, timed it absolutely horribly. And it's 1-0 uh, to Wickham. Is Ethan Morgan now trying to work his magic? Ethan Morgan does super well. Ethan Morgan, get in there, my son. There you go. He got a rare, got a collector's piece there. Ethan Morgan makes it 1 1. Only his second goal of the campaign. And boy, did he take it superbly well. First of all, he got lucky to go through the uh, center half. He put in a weak challenge and then slice across the ball to the far corner of the net. 1 1. Thanks to a wonder strike there from the god, the legend that is, Ethan Morgan. He's Reese, fans can't say sour his first touch of the ball now. Finds Michaels, Michaels to O'Donnell. O'Donnell out wide to Davis, as well worked here. Here's Mamiri now, looking to take on his man. This turns him inside out. He's got Davis on the overlap. Now Davis doesn't have a left foot, but he's gonna give it a go. That's actually a great cross. And Bashandi does get ahead on it. It goes behind for a uh, goal kick, but still worked, well worked there. And Dom Davis getting forth in the left back role. Kind of unusual to see that, but um, glad he did. That was actually a solid effort there from Dom Davis. Well, as long as he how conscious I can deal with this, he does superbly well. By the way, now with uh, everyone fit, we have uh, three Brazilian players and a Danish player at the back if everyone was fully fit. So that's in a kind of an unusual scenario there, but uh, Kante, Sal, Reese, and Fernandez. Uh, obviously, the future of our defense is Bashandi now. Bashandi's got Cooper square. Oh, just overhit the through ball there. Cooper was making a run there. Not really committed to it, though. Wasn't quite as aggressive as I would have liked. 
Um, but he's got it back here now. Let's see what Koo can do. Usually he does well to keep hold of the ball, and he does this time, finds Michaels. Michaels at Kante Sao on the overlap. Uh, he's got Bashandi making the through ball. This time he does time his run to perfection there. Bashandi crosses the ball to absolutely no one. Once again, I reaffirm my stance. Bashandi, you are trash. Here's Bamiri now. Found the run of Mifa Morgan. Ethan Morgan laying it, looking laid across, but uh, unfortunately it looked like uh, Cooper couldn't get there quite in time and it's uh, easily fouled. So um, it's going to be the end of the first half here. 1-1, one, one. not a bad display so far. Obviously disappointing to see the goal in which we did. Uh, Dom Davis we really wanted those at the back post, but uh, collector's item here. Seeing Ethan Morgan find the back in there, only a second goal of the campaign. Um, but uh, the legend that is Ethan Morgan continues here. And uh, hopefully maybe he gets a second goal. Double his tally on the season. That'd be, uh, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Here's Bashandi. He's got Kante Sao on the overlap. Let's see what this guy can do going forward here. Kante Sao gets the byline. Whips the ball in. That's a really decent ball, actually. Mamiri had time to attack it, but he was late to the run. And uh, cleared from the Wickham defenders in the end. But a uh, promising sign of Kante Sao getting forward here and giving us another option out wide. Here's Bashandi again looking for the run of uh, Kante Sao. And he finds him. Kante Sal, will he have more options this time? He's got Morgan to aim at this time. That's a great ball. Ethan Morgan! Can you believe it? 2-1. What a ball that was from Alex Kante Sal. Welcome to the Shrimps. What a cross that was from the young Brazilian right back there. Making an instant impact in this side. And later on a play for Ethan Morgan who makes it 2-1. And his third goal of the season for Ethan Morgan. What a header that was as well from the big man. Keeper. Absolutely no chance. Ethan Morgan's third goal of the campaign. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed history. Ethan Morgan getting two goals in a single game. Now, wouldn't it be something special if Ethan Morgan got a hat-trick today? That really would be... Honestly, I think I'll just quit. I think I think that would be the high moment. I don't think he's going to get any better there if Ethan Morgan suddenly gets a hat-trick. Uh, what football that is. Dom Davis now got acres of space. Probably not best for him. He finds Mamiri now. Mamiri has got the run of Morgan. But he finds Cooper instead. Cooper in the box. Car. Callum Cooper makes it 3-1. Get in there. Another rare goal there. Callum Cooper doesn't score many. But uh, what a strike that was from Callum Cooper. The time does run to perfection. Great ball, by the way, as well. I think from... Uh, who was that? I think that was Mamiri there. Beautiful, beautiful ball. And a uh, good finish there from Callum Cooper. And uh, it's 3-1. Here's Bashandi now. Got forward. Got a couple to aim at in the box. Ball loops in. There's Mamiri with the header. He already got one fantastic header this season. Aiming for a second one there. But it goes harmlessly behind for a goal kick. So Marcus Rowe is going to come on for the last 15 minutes of the game. Bit of energy in midfield for Tom O'Donnell. And uh, 15 minutes of the go. And it's looking more and more likely when he gets uh, the, uh, a second win here of the episode. And we're going to go into the Stoke game with plenty of confidence. Oh, what a ball from Bashandi. Now Morgan's got a touch on it. Ethan Morgan, chance for your hat-trick. And the first hat-trick for the Shrimp, but you're too slow. And the uh, defender gets back on him. What a moment that would have been to see Ethan Morgan get a hat-trick. Being the first hat-trick for the Shrimps as well. That's just extra special if that was to happen. Ball's got on the box there. Cooper with the flick on. Oh, and what a volley that was. Carlton's going to be disappointed. He's had a lot of time to see that at shot. Um, but a great volley there. Cooper couldn't quite get up and clear the ball. And he could flick it on. And what a first-time volley that is. Actually, on second hand, Carlson really couldn't do much about that one. What a strike that was from uh, Freeman there. Curling away from Carlson. And it's 3-2. So it could make the, uh, the last couple of minutes of the game here a little bit uneasy for us. Of course, if Amiri scores here, it's not going to matter. miri has got Morgan... Looking for the uh, run there. Not going to find him. And uh, with just two minutes now to hold on here. We just have to be solid. Don't do anything too stupid. So two minutes are up and there it is. Uh, finished here 3-2. Disappointing in the end to see that goal, obviously. Um, but happy to get the results. I mean, two goals from Ethan Morgan. Bouncing back from an early goal from Scott Cashet, Cashket. And uh, Callum Cooper also getting a rare goal as well. So all in all, a very good day at the office. All right, so obviously being January as well, we have an offer here for uh, Simone uh, Villaba. Um, they want him on loan for the rest of the year. Honestly, I don't have a big enough squad to allow him to leave. Normally, I would say yes to it, but 
I simply can't let him go despite being one of the worst players in the squad. That's just the situation we're in. All right, um, moving forward now. Obviously, we're up against Stoke City, uh, the bigger game of the episode. Um, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, let me see any other important news. Um, Ibrahim El Bashir. Yeah, of course, you're going to play. No doubt about that. All right, so let's make the changes. Let's try and put a competitive team out there, shall we? So, um, Harris is going to be dropped here for Fernandez. Can't say Sal. I'm going to let you keep your place in the side ahead of Dom Davis. Obviously, a big move going forward. Dom Davis really is in the same ballpark quality wide as Can't say Sal. And. Um, Obviously, Davis is a kind of a, a favorite of mine, surprisingly, too, just because I didn't expect him to do much, and he's actually turned out to be one of the better players in the squad. Um, but uh, going forward, obviously, we're using squad rotation. He's going to get plenty of games, but for right now, I can't say so. I've got to play him ahead of him. Um, midfield here, and this could be a little difficult today, just cause, again, because of how tired players are. Marcus Rose will come back in uh, for O'Donnell there. Coop. Not really fit enough to play, so Ponce is going to play in there alongside Rose. Michael's just an Iron Man. He's played every minute pretty much of this season, and he's just an important player to have in front of the back line. Wins tackles. Um, up top there, Harvey Rose naturally, Bashir on the right, and then Chevalier on the left. And despite some improved performances from Mamiri, and of course, Ethan Morgan. All right, let's take a look at the reserve. Let's take a look at the uh, bench here. Let's try and fix some issues. I would like to have Davis on the bench if possible because he is a big guy. He can play center half as well as right back. Um, I have you in there instead of Harris. All right. Actually, before we start today's game, I'm actually going to take a quick look at Kansai Sao. I didn't look at his uh, some of his attributes. Let's take a look at him. Uh, can't say Sal. Three star skill, uh, three star weak, a out and out right back. As you can see, a physical of 75, pace of 69. You also what he could do already from crossing the ball in, getting himself an assist in this first game. Um, definitely some promise in the kid, and uh, hopefully he can fulfill it. All right, so here we go. Big day for the Shrimps playing Stoke City at, at home. As you can see, it's a full attendance today. Plenty, plenty of fans in the stand. I think we might must be at capacity for this one. Obviously, it's going to help make us a bit of money for the club, hopefully. Anyway, um, yeah, this is the, just a big, big test. It'll give us an indication of how far we have to go to be competitive in this series. Um, yeah, so uh, there we go. We'll just hope not to get hammered and uh, make the game at least competitive. All right, first chance perhaps of the game here. Let's see if Yesen can find someone in the box here. Attacking situation. Let's see if we can aim it just before the penalty spot. I think that's our best chance. Yetan's going to drill this ball in. Marcus Rose can't win the header. And it's full to uh, Kansai Sao. Big day for Kansai Sao today. 16-year-old. Only second game of the club. And he's up against a team like Stoke. So here's Yetan. Marcus Rose gives the ball away at the edge. Harvey Rose wins it back. But can't get the uh, can't get the second challenge in. He's going to get yellow carded for that one. That was a late challenge. Actually, you know, the referee's going to be lenient today. I appreciate that. I uh, expected Rose to get a yellow card. Ball bounces around here. Fernandez makes the necessary clearance. Good position in there from Bruno Fernandez. But the danger's not quite done yet. There's going to be a lot of this this game and a good save from Carson. He's going to have a busy day in the office, Carson. He's had a few moments over the last couple of weeks where I'm like, hey, he probably could have saved it. So I'm hoping he'll be on form today to aid us to uh, a competitive game. Here's a chance, though. Ince gets in the, uh, in the box. Uh, it's a goal. It's a goal. And I are getting the goal there for Stoke City. No one really tracked the run of him. And uh, it's a good finish in the end. Perhaps a little weak. Carlson might be disappointed in that. And uh, it's 1-0 uh, to Stoke. Not much support there for Marcus Rose. We're going to have to get forward much, much quicker than that. Yeah, we've got to be uh, direct of our counter attacking today because we're not going to have the time and space we usually have in League 2 games. Uh, do you find Ince... Ince got an assist already once. That's a good cross there, but Ponce was well placed to make the uh, clearance. Here's Mania now. Good tackle there from Yesen. And it's going to go out for a throw into Stoke. Well worked in the box there. Can't say Sal makes the necessary clearance. And he finds El Bashir even. Here's Rose. Now, obviously, El Bashir is going to have a big game today. He's a, by far our best player on the field, and really the only player that could possibly get into the Stoke City team realistically. Here's uh, Allen now getting in the box there. Allen with the shots, but lucky enough, uh, Reese got across and made the uh, necessary challenge. This could also be a dangerous situation here at set pieces. Obviously, Stoke are much, much bigger and stronger than we are. That's a good header, and uh, Carlson pulls off a solid save there. 
And here's El Bashir now. Perhaps the first chance of the game. He's got Pont streaking forward. Pont gets there. He's got Harvey Rose to aim at. There's Harvey Rose with the strike. Too bad it wasn't his left foot. And it's going to go behind, I think, for a corner kick, perhaps. Nope, goal kick. Never mind. I thought the defender got a flick on the end there, but I'm guessing not. But still, a very well worked effort there. First one and a half for us just before halftime. And uh, we're going to get a few chances today. Very, very few chances. So we've got to try and take them when we get them. And uh, at least that was a promising sign of what we can do. Chance at the end of the half here. Peter's going to whip this ball in. Marcus Rose of all placed to make the clearance. And that's the end of the first half. So only 1 0. Actually, getting the game pretty competitive, to be honest with you. Uh, only had one shot uh, to speak of so far. So it's it's been a little rough. Um, but we are defending well and defending very stoutly. So that's something we can be proud of. I'm going to take off Michaels because he's just too ragged out there. He's just too tired. So Cooper's going to come on in his spot. I don't expect him to do much today either. As you can see, his stamina very, very low. Uh, Marcus Rose, same for him. So Castro is going to come on in his spot. Hopefully, fresh legs will keep us in this game. Well worked here from Stoke City. McLean cuts in on his right foot. Weak effort though from uh, James McLean. But uh, tell you what though, made Conte Sal look a little bit stupid, didn't he? Here's Conte Sal though. Laid across to El Bashir. El Bashir has the pace to get away. Has he got support though? That's a great challenge from uh, Eric Peters. And he goes behind for a, a corner kick. That was a great opportunity there for Bashir. To make something happen for us, but it was a well timed challenge. Here's Bashir's got this ball in. Cooper's there, can't win the first header, and it's easily clear from the uh, Stoke City defenders. Now it's Ben Yesen now. No one to aim at in the box, disappointingly. It's going to put the ball in anyway. Rose made a final run. A little bit too late though, and it's easily cleared. Now here's where Stoke could be very dangerous on the counter attack. Here's uh, James McLean on uh, taking on Kante Sal. Good looking ball, but Fernandez is well positioned to make the, uh, the header clearance. Oh, error there from Castro. Ball goes in the box. Conte Sauer is well positioned to make the clearance, and it's a good strong header clear. But uh, Castro has to be much quicker than that. Dangers are done, though. Benitez puts the ball in. Conte Sal, another with a uh, another great clearance there from the uh, young Brazilian right back. Here's well work. Ponce is now streaking forward here. Now he's got Bashir on the outside, but Ponce's first touch and control is absolutely atrocious. Now here's a chance for uh, Stoke City. He sold him one there, and uh, Carlson has brought down the youth, and um, I'm not quite sure how that's not a penalty, to be honest with you. Here's Fernandez now, walking forward from midfield. Fans the feet of Harvey Rose. Harvey Rose got Castro now, oh, looking for Chevalier, but it's a good time challenge from the uh, Stoke City right back. Now here's uh, Monet, obviously a signing from Huddersfield here. Chips the ball in, that's a chance, and it's 2-0 to Stoke City. Only a matter of time, really. They were knocking on the door. And um, Kante Sal got the wrong side of the uh, Stoke City player. Who was that? Jose uh, Isquidado. Obviously the uh, former uh, Brighton winger uh, getting on the score sheet. So uh, Stoke City has spent some money here. There's a chance they're probably back in the Premier League now. Didn't actually check before the game. His Chevalier going to hold the ball up. Can't hold the ball up against Stoke. Can't hold the ball up against strong opposition. Doesn't work that way. Back to Peters, whips a ball in, Allen, oh they're just playing, just running rings around us now, we can't get anywhere near him, that's a good save at his near post from Carlson, as you can see he's not very happy, I don't blame him, he hasn't had much support today from his defenders, and um, yet to forward the Stoke City goalkeeper into a save, so uh, with five minutes of the in this game, I'm not sure if that's going to change, free kick from Stoke here, ball gets whipped in, a little miscommunication there between Castro and Belshir. There's maybe a chance. we got Castro now, streaking forward. He's got Chevalier now on the left side. He's found him. Adrian Chevalier. Chance to make himself a hero, son. Adrian Chevalier makes it 2-1. Injury time here. 2-1. Uh, we're not going to get back into this game. Haven't got enough time left for it. But it's great to get a goal here against Stoke City. That gives the uh, fans something to cheer about here at the end. And Adrian Chevalier has uh, made himself a club legend, scoring against uh, Stoke City. And uh, that's a really good finish too. Actually got himself in the box, smashed the ball past uh, the goalkeeper. Our first shot on target uh, results in our first goal of the game. And uh, But it's too little too late. It's going to finish here 2-1, I imagine. Just went for the referee now to blow full time on the game. Yep, there it is. 2-1 finish here. And uh, at least we put up a very uh, disciplined, solid display there. Some moments there, maybe the uh, the first goal, Jose, sorry, the second goal there for uh, Jose 
Isquidado, whatever you pronounce his name. Isquedo? Isquedo, I guess. How you pronounce it? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, obviously, love, lack of discipline for that one. But still, we put up a solid display. We put up a fight. That's all I can ask for, to be honest with you. Just happy to get a goal as well. All right, so that ends our FA Cup run, obviously. And um, we actually got some bids coming in for players now. Um, Callum Cooper is wanted by El Fate. No chance in hell. Cooper, you are staying with me for as long as this uh, save continues. And Tranmere Rovers, by the way, have put in for Josh Michaels. £810,000. Again, that's going to be rejected. He's too much of a, a talented player to let go. Um, all right. So, yep, that's going to wrap up the episode. Um, what's nice now, though, however, for the guys, they finally get a break. As you can see, uh, we have a week now into the Wimbledon game. We've only got three games in the whole of January, obviously uh, being knocked out of the FA Cup. That's definitely um, not a bad thing, to be honest with you. Only three games in January, which means the players get back to full fitness with a full strength squad by the uh, this time next week or next episode. And obviously we have um, a Youth Academy report to come up soon. I'm hoping... We can find some uh, decent players. Uh, here's Dylan. Nope, this guy is trash. You're not going to play for me. Butchers El Hulu, a goalkeeper, 15-year-old. Certainly, certainly not good enough. And we got £153,000, by the way, from the FA Cup run. So that really, all in all, not a bad, not a bad day in the office for the to the shrimps. All right, so that's going to wrap up the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, things are going superbly well in the league. We're in January, and we are top of the table. Um, admittedly, only by two points from Newport County, uh, Colchester, and Grimsby are just a point behind us as well. So all in all, things are going superbly well. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll see you folks in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>